Assalamualaikum and very good afternoon to all audience that attend to see these forums. Okay, our discussion topic today is environmental impact of engineering projects. This topic is very interesting and for discussing this topic, I would like to introduce our panel. With us today is Ms. Shahira, environmental engineer, Ms. Ifa, a project manager, Ms. Umaira, from government and Miss Azlina from NGO. Okay, in this forum, we want to investigate the environmental impact of engineering projects and the importance of considering sustainability factors in project planning and design. Okay, firstly, sustainability is the prevention or reduction of the effect of environmental issues for human to live a sustainable life and as part of the effort is to retain human use of natural resources to a sustainable limit at which it can be replenished. Okay, what is the impact of engineering project, Ms. Azlina? First, thanks for inviting me to give my thoughts on NGO perspectives about this matter. Okay, firstly, when you construct a, or build a building, Developer or even uh, engineers should know the type of construction area before you build a building. It is because you should know the impacts, whether the site is or will destroy the environment. You, as an engineer, should take care of flora, fauna, and soil or water of the area when the project is carried out from being affected. Next is the contractor should not dispose the use toxic of uh, waste into rivers uh, that cause my uh, water pollution. Finally, uh, what needs to be done before developing a project is to make sure that you don't at will destroy the forest just to develop a place but end up causing global warming, climate change because more trees have been cut down. So that's all from me. Thank you, Ms. Azlina. So, Ms. Shahira, what is the role of environmental engineers to help create diversity in construction projects? Thank you for our moderator, Encik Fikri. Okay, let me explain the role of environmental engineer is to help to create diversity in construction projects. Many companies hire us to create structure with this key vital. First, indoor air quality. Insulation is vital, but using volatile and inorganic materials may negatively affect the tenants. We use fiberglass, mineral wool, and cellulose as an efficient and safer insulator. Second, energy efficiency. Using practice of the lightning natural to eliminate a structure and producing and also extracting natural energy can gain lower power costs leading to the huge saving. And lastly, water conservation. Green buildings are encouraged to use water efficient appliances such as low flow aerators that limit the flow of the water on faucet and dual flush toilet that effectively distribute water system to lessen water usage. That's it for me. Thank you. I see. Thank you. Can Ms. Umaira explain why is the importance of considering sustainability factors in projects, planning and designs? I would like to share the importance of considering sustainability factors in project planning and design. So, project sustainability refers to the ability of a team to execute a project successfully. It allows you to plan for the future while completing and decommissioning projects while meeting your current needs. Here me up the importance. Sustainability improves the quality of our lives, protect our ecosystem, and preserve natural resources for future generations. In the corporate world, sustainability is associated with an organization's holistic approach, taking into account everything from manufacturing to logistics to customer service. Going green and sustainable is not only uh, beneficial for the company, it also maximizes the benefits from, environment, from an environmental focus in the long term. I want to relate my point with this one X, which is Section 29A of the Environmental Quality of Act 1974. Section 29 of the Act renders it an offence for persons unless licensed to discharge environmentally hazardous substances, pollutants, or wastes into Malaysia, what is in contravention of acceptable conditions specified under Section 31. That's all from me. Thank you.
uh, Cik Ifa, as a project uh, manager, how can you contribute to sustainability? Okay, uh, thank you for the question. Uh, because projects are temporary, many may be confused about how they can be sustainable if sustainability plays uh, the long game. Uh, but uh, projects help organization realize long-term investment objective. A uh, project manager can help with planning a project and making sure it stays green. It is necessary for them to start taking responsibility for the project's result as its impact does not go away once the project is done. Um, next, uh, the project management uh, profession at large uh, should promote uh, the sustainable development goals by developing uh, objectives and plans. A, go uh, a global uh, association like IPMA can provide the profession with its good practice and recognize the achievement of sustainability in projects. That's all. Thank you. Okay, thank you to the all panels for sharing and talks. As conclusion, change is made possible through projects which deliver new products and service, thereby shaping society. Okay, we can achieve sustainability development goals with the help of projects and project management. Rather than just being an afterthought, sustainability should be a project goal. Sustainability is therefore an important success factor for project management. Okay, thank you.